Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd discuss how to uh, retouch, remove dust spots, remove power lines, remove blemishes uh, from photographs using the erase tool in uh, Luminar Neo. Alright, so I have this uh, photograph right here. This is one I got off of Pixabay. Uh, and it's a picture of a woman's face and there's some blemishes on it. So let's uh, see how this uh, erase tool works. So if I click down on erase, you can see um, that I can select and deselect areas there. I can adjust the brush size. This button here will erase it. We can clear and restore anything up here. Uh, a, little, a little arrow here. Uh, will appear at the top to undo just like it does on all of the other functions of Luminar Neo. And down here are objects removal, which is the AI component of this where it will remove uh, power lines or remove dust spots. So with power lines, it looks for what looks like a power line and tries to remove it. And uh, with dust spots, it looks for what looks like a dust spot and tries to remove it. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of some of these blemishes. I'm going to make this uh, brush a little bit bigger, and I'm going to I'm going to pick this one right here first. And if I click erase on that, you can see it gets rid of it really good. And if I look back at it, you can see it appears. So if I hold it down, you see it pops back. If I click off of that, it disappears again. Uh, so you can go back and forth and look and compare it before and after to see if you really like it better with the uh, changes on it. Uh, so let's do a few more here. There's a blemish right here as we can see, so let's put a little dot here. There's a bigger blemish here. There's one here. And uh, so let's go with that and click Erase. And so it looks like it's done a pretty good job there. Once again, I'm going to click on this so you can see this is before, this is after. Before and after. So it did a really good job on that. So uh, let's look at uh, another example or two. So go back to the catalog here. I'm going to take this photograph right here and we're going to go to edit this. And there's some phone lines here. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit so we can see them better. So you can see these phone lines right up here. And say we wanted to get uh, rid of these phone lines. So we're going to go back to erase again and we're going to go click on remove power lines. It's going to take it uh, a minute to calculate it. And you can see it did a really good job here uh, removing uh, the power lines on here. And so if we go to before and after, before and after, did remove a little bit of the uh, pole it, itself and uh, if you look if we go back to look before you can see some, there's some wires looped around at the top there it got rid of that and the insulators and stuff uh, you could always go back with a race and erase more of the top of this post or or more of the post itself if you wanted to uh, but if we go back out to see the full photograph that's good enough so you really don't see it. You would want to zoom in whenever you remove phone lines to see how well it actually did it, particularly if you're going to blow up the image really well. But uh, this did a really good job on this image. Now I'm going to show you another image that doesn't didn't do quite as good a job when I tried it, uh, just as a little bit of a comparison. So we'll go back to the catalog here and we'll use this other image. This is another image I got offline. It's uh, I believe I got this off of Pixabay 2. I use this image sometimes just to show uh, what retouching uh, can do with different programs and to use it kind of as a test image. So you see there's a bunch of birds here. Um, a lot of times there will be a bird in a scene and it looks like it's a spot of dust. Sometimes it's farther away than that even. And it's distracting. You want to get rid of a, a bird that's flying by in a landscape in the background just to, to get it out of the photograph and there's some power lines here so let's go back to erase here and if we go to remove power lines on this one right here once again it will take a minute that did it fairly fast the problem with this one that I see 
is that uh, it didn't do uh, it didn't do a great job on this because you can see kind of a line here and uh, part of that has to do with the unevenness of the clouds here uh, on different pictures regardless of the editing program when you're when you're trying to remove uh, blemishes and, and different things out of the image sometimes it turns out better than other times uh, what we might be able to do is take this brush here for a race and maybe go like this and go erase and that blends it in more so in this case I think we could come back and use a race to kind of touch it out or or blend it in a little bit better sometimes you may have to use kind of go a spot at a time other times you might actually be able to go a larger spot to see if you can blend it out and you may have to do it a couple of times so that kind of blended that out. So you can actually go back and use a race. If you remove the power lines and you find some uh, flaws in it, you can try that. Or you can you can uh, revert the power lines back to the original and try using a race to erase the power lines manually. A lot of times if you just take your time and do a spot at a time, it works better than doing the entire line because it will blend it a little bit better. Uh, we can remove dust spots, but... I've never been able to find a good example of an image with dust spots, which I guess is fortunate. Uh, but when you you have uh, dust spots, uh, you should get your camera sensor cleaned anyway, but this will remove them. So if you have a bunch of dust spots, it can figure out what is a dust spot. Now, if I click remove dust spots here, it won't remove these birds because it knows they are birds because there's a shape to it. But we can use the erase once again and just uh, cover a few of these birds up and we're going to click erase you see you can see it did a pretty good job of getting rid of those as well so if we go back those are the those are the birds on the lines and we can see how it how it did so those are so that's how the erase tool works on uh, dust spots blemishes power lines uh, and you can basically erase a lot of different things with it. Uh, the bigger the thing, the harder it is to get rid of something small that's on a very solid or fairly consistent background may be a little easier to remove than something that's on a complex background or something that's larger. That's something to remember. But you can also, as I said, go back and touch up slowly, do a few erases, uh, and uh, see how it looks and then continue to erase uh, in kind of stages to see how it works depending on how much you need to erase on it and uh, Luminar Neo they're still working on it so I'm sure they're gonna bring more uh, retouch tools and uh, and improve the uh, functions of their current erase tool so we'll see what happens in the future as well I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.